Do you need an e-signature on one of your proposals? Let me show you how with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. I am currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the very top left corner. We're going to choose my forms and we're going to switch it over to my sign documents. Next, we're going to click on the green create sign document button in the top left. And then from here, if you already have a PDF version of your proposal, you can always use the upload document option. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and use one of our templates. Now, if you have a specific type of proposal that you're looking for, you can always use the search option at the top. For this, I'm going to head over to the left side and we're going to search through all of the proposals. And I think I'm going to use the one on the far right, the bid proposal template. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick scroll and we can see the areas right here. We have one in orange and one in purple. So it looks like the orange is going to be me, the person who is sending the bid proposal. And then we also have the client who is accepting the bid proposal. So I'm in orange and then they are in purple. So if we keep scrolling down, looks like we have the final sign on the bottom again orange and purple but let's go back up to the top one thing that i highly encourage you to do is just make sure that everything is on the right person so i can see right up here the contractor which is me is an orange and the client is also an orange so we need to change this over to the client now if you click on any of these fields it's going to pop up and right here we can easily change it from me to the client. And then right down here, we see this is also the client. So same thing, we're just gonna change this from me to the client. And I think everything else looked pretty good. Now, if there's anything that is missing that you need to add a new field that you need for them to fill out or sign, it is very similar to our JotForm form builder. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose to add fields. We can choose from any of these. So just for example, if I wanna drag in a signature right here, we can do that and we can also change it from here. But you can notice whenever I brought it in, the right panel, the properties panel opened and we can do the same thing over here. We can change from me to the client, we can change the field label and we can also make it required or unrequired. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this field. So let's go ahead up into the top right hand corner. Let's preview this document. All right, because we are viewing all roles right here, if we scroll, it's gonna look exactly how it did in the builder. So if I wanna see what this looks like just for the client, we can change this right here to the client. And we can also see that this right up here changed from 33 fields to fill out to eight. So if we scroll down, we can see the client here, 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 and we're of course missing the contractor piece. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and jump to our tabs. So the middle tab is going to be settings. And the first thing that we can do here is we can change the overall name of the document if we want to do that. Next, we have our email settings. If you'd like to change the email subject, you can do that here. We can also put a message that is going to go to everyone who is going to be receiving this PDF. So let's go ahead and just put please sign ASAP. If you have any integrations you would like to add, we can do that here as well, but let's head to the sin tab because that is where the magic happens. So we can see under recipients, we have me, who is the person who is sending this proposal. And then we need the name of our client, or if we had more than one, they would all be here. So I'm going to go ahead and add them in now. Then to the right of every person, you're going to see a key and a message bubble. If you would like anyone to enter in a passcode, we're going to choose the key and we'll just say one, two, three for this example. And then this message is going to be only sent to them within that email. So they're going to get the please sign ASAP message that we put in the settings tab, but this is gonna to go to just my client. So this is a great place to put. The passcode is one, two, three. All right. So here we can see that the key is now blue, letting us know that it's being utilized. And there is also a dot on the message to let us know that there is a specific message. All right, let's jump up to options. Here we can set an expiration date. We can send automated reminder emails. If we wanna send every two days, we can do that. We can also turn on signer delegation. So if you want only the person that you're sending to to sign it, make sure that you turn this off. And if you want to use the CC option, you can. But let's head back over to recipients. Now, as of right now, if I hit send to sign, both me and my client are going to get this proposal at the same time. That is not what I want. I want myself to get it first so I can pre-fill it out. And then once I'm done, it goes to my client. And we can do this with signing order. We just have to toggle this on right here. We can see these dots showed up. If we need to move these around, we can, but the order they're at now is perfect. So let's go ahead and click the send to sign button. 
All right, we've officially been sent. We can see who it has gone to as well as who has that passcode. But before we jump over to the emails to see what this looks like, I wanna take you to the inbox. So up at the very top where it says Sign Builder, we're gonna click on Inbox. And across the top, you can see numerous tabs to go through. The first one's going to be All Documents, and that's going to be every document that has you tied to it, it's going to live there. Then we can see right here, waiting for my signature, there's a one bubble, and that's the one that we currently are working on, the proposal. Now, as soon as I sign this proposal, it's gonna automatically leave this tab and go to the waiting for others. Once they complete it, it'll go to completed. And then we also have canceled and declined tabs as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on waiting for my signature so we can see it disappear. But let's head over to our emails and let's fill this proposal out. All right, so we are in my first email, the person who is sending and filling out the original bid proposal. And we can see right here, it says that please sign ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on review and sign document. Next at the top, I don't know if you noticed this, but it did say 25 and then it dropped down to 22. A really great thing about this is, is it's going to pre-fill out some of the fields for you. So let's go ahead and take a quick scroll and see what needs to be filled out. So right here, we'll put our company name. We can see the required fields for my name and even my email has been filled out. But let's jump all the way down to the bottom where it needed our signature. All right, for our signature field, once we click on this, it's going to automatically populate out a typed out signature for us. So if we are good with this, or maybe we want to change the way it looks, maybe change the color, we can click next, or we can even draw our signature if we want to. We click next. Now, even though we have those other fields available to fill out for the time purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and click sign and complete and then accept and send. All right, good to go. Now let's jump to our client's email and finalize everything. Now we can see that same message, please sign ASAP, but then we also have that private message just to my client, letting them know the passcode is 123. So let's go ahead and review and sign document then our passcode of 123 and validate now we can see at the top right here it says we have eight fields to fill out and now we have five so let's go ahead and finish filling this out we can see these two automatically populate with my name and email and then down here on the bottom let's go ahead and do our approval date and then also same concept if we want to draw our signature or type it we can and up at the top we're going to choose to sign and complete and accept and send all right, good to go. So let's head back to my inbox and we can see it's not in waiting for my signature and it's not in waiting for others. It is now moved over to completed. And in addition to that proposal, if we take a scroll past all of these pages, we also get an audit trail. So we get to see where this went and how long it took in between each stage. Now, if we need to download or print this, we can do this right up here. But another great thing is this data also lives over in our tables. So we come to the top left-hand corner, we can choose tables. And if we take a quick scroll and we go all the way to the right, we can see both of our signatures here. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign for e-signatures with your proposals, let us know, and I'll see you next time.